The Interim Management Committee of the Niger Delta Development Commission, NDC, NDDC, says some contractors are sponsoring attacks against its audit of the agency. The committee, however, pledges commitment to carrying out a thorough forensic audit despite the said attacks. Correspondent Habida Lawal now reports. President Buhari directed a forensic audit of the Niger Delta Development Commission during a closed-door meeting with governors of the region's nine oil-producing states. This is against the backdrop of the region's condition, not justifying the huge resources spent on its development projects over the years. A steering committee has subsequently been inaugurated to oversee the Commission's affairs pending conclusion of the audit. The move has generated mixed reactions, with some groups applauding it, while others feel responsibilities of the Commission and that of the Niger Delta Ministry are different. Somebody who is particularly interested, a major contractor in the NDDC, who is a member of the Senate of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, he alone has 300 jobs in the NDDC, 300 contracts. Of the 300 contracts, he has been paid, 120 has been paid, fully paid, and he has not mobilized to site for this 120. The remaining is what he is now using to mobilize talks in the Niger Delta to go and instigate people to start to, 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 prevent, the to prevent the audit. Uh, NDDC particular from inception as ordered by the President of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, Muhammad Buhari. We are also in support of the interim management of the NDDC as recently inaugurated by the Minister of the Niger Delta Affairs to manage the process, the forensic audit, and to reposition the NDDC before the integration of the incoming board. The Interim Management Committee is concerned that the NDDC is currently indebted to some contractors to the tune of over 3 trillion naira. It alleges that some contractors are trying to frustrate its efforts most severe of attacks coming from a serving lawmaker who was awarded over 300 million naira worth of contracts. About 10 firms would be engaged to conduct the forensic audit. Habida Lawal, TVC News, Abuja.